Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make a roasted pumpkin salad. I made this probably like two months ago, but I was so swamped with finals and a bunch of school stuff, I didn't have time to post it, but it's still winter and I guess pumpkin and squash is still in season, so it's still a perfect time to make it. This is a super good salad if you're sick of eating meat or you're a vegetarian or you want something to keep you full for the rest of the day because it's filled with farro. It's a really good grain that I just found about. It's kind of like barley and rice. It also has pomegranates, some roasted pumpkin, brussels sprouts, parmesan cheese. You can leave that out if you're vegan and a really yummy honey mustard dressing. So the first thing for the salad is the pumpkin, of course. So I'm just going to take a very large knife on a sturdy cutting board and I'm going to cut the pumpkin in half. And then I'm just going to take a spoon and remove all the seeds and pulp. And I also ended up washing this a bit to get any of the excess pulp out. Then I'm just going to take my knife and cut them into one inch wedges. If you need help, grab a parent, grab a friend, grab someone who's stronger than me to cut the pumpkin because I was very afraid I was going to cut off a finger. I didn't. I have all 10 fingers. Okay, so now for all the flavoring for the pumpkin. In a big bowl, we're just going to combine some olive oil and I used a garlic press to cut up some garlic. Then I also threw in a bunch of seasonings like red pepper flakes, herbs, salt, pepper, cinnamon. You can find all the measurements for that in my blog down below. Along with that, we're also going to combine some brown sugar. The brown sugar is really essential because it caramelizes the pumpkin in the oven and makes it almost candy-like. It's so good. Then we're just going to give this a good mix and add in all our pumpkin. Now on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or a silicone mat, we're just going to add on all our pumpkin into one single layer. And with all the extra dressing you have on, feel free to spoon that all over the top. Now we're just going to bake the pumpkin until they get nice and brown and caramelized. Now onto my favorite part, the Brussels sprouts. So on a silicone baking sheet or parchment paper, we're just going to add our quartered Brussels sprouts along with our olive oil. And some salt and pepper to give it some flavor. Give this a good mix and you're ready to bake them. Just make sure to bake them into two different batches, not like I did here. You want them to get nice and crispy in the oven. Okay, so now this was the farro I was talking about. I got this from Trader Joe's and it comes in a package just like this. As I mentioned, farro is a grain similar to rice or barley and it boils just as you would rice. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it into a pot, we're going to put some water into it, I'm just going to follow the instructions, boil it, and then drain it when it's done. So while your farro is boiling and your vegetables are baking, this is the perfect time to make the dressing. So now for what makes the salad super yummy. In a big bowl, we're going to make the dressing, combining some olive oil and some apple cider vinegar, along with some honey and some mustard. And this is the base of the dressing. We're going to give this a good mix, and I should be doing this with a whisk, and add in some salt, pepper, and I like to make it a little spicy with some red pepper flakes, and also some parsley. Give it a really good mix with a whisk, and I also ended up making more dressing. I was just doing this on the fly over here. Now for my favorite part, the pomegranate. I had been really obsessed with pomegranate at the time, and I still am, and it was a perfect time to use it because they were in season, so I decided to incorporate it in the salad. So this is a cool way to break the seeds out of the pomegranate. We're just going to break it in half, and over a bowl of water, we're just going to take a wooden spoon and hit out all the seeds, and you'll see them all come out into the water. So after this happens, all the seeds float to the bottom and all the little white stuff floats to the top and you can just take them all out. So before you assemble your salad, you want to make sure to reserve half of the dressing. Then we're just going to add the farro, the crispy brussels sprouts, see how brown they got? Then some toasted nuts and some pomegranate seeds. Now if you're not vegan, feel free to add some parmesan cheese. I just added some shavings of it and you're going to give it a good mix. Now it's time to plate up. 
make sure to plate a really big serving of this in a nice big bowl and then garnish it with a few of the roasted pumpkin. See how caramelized and brown they got? Those little burnt bits are my favorite. Then just garnish it with some pomegranate seeds, the toasted nuts, some parsley, a few more shavings of parmesan cheese, and a drizzle of the dressing. Doesn't this look like fall and winter in a bowl? That roasted pumpkin with that sweet and tangy dressing and those little crunchy bits from the nuts and the brightness from the pomegranate seeds. Ah, oh, so good! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want the full list of ingredients and the recipe, you can find the link on my website, racheleseats.com, or you can click the link down below. And if you decide to make this, don't forget to tag me in your social media posts at Rachel's Eats. Those social media links can be found down below as well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! The lights are so bright. My eyes are actually burning. That's not good. Oops.